Hey guys, back here again. Um, today I'm actually uh, getting the uh, van coated in a ceramic coating and it's from Vantech. I'll introduce you to Terry in a minute and he'll give you a bit of a spiel on how the product works and what it actually does. The uh, product itself, every time you go around to the caravan shows and stuff like that, you'll see the people there selling it and sometimes when you buy a caravan brand new, they all have brochures or the uh, salesman will offer now what it does is it obviously protects the outside of the van and they also do the inside. You have your choice, you can do both inside and out or you can just do outside or just do inside depending on whatever you want to do. Nothing is too hard. Hey Terry, how are you mate? Good mate, yourself? Good. Alright, we've got Terry here from Vantech. What he's doing at the moment is he's uh, just already gone around and given the van a bit of a clean up with his uh, cloths and that's what he's doing now. And then he'll uh, coat, put a coating of the uh, ceramic polish onto another microfiber cloth and then he'll go through and rub it in. Terry, can you just tell me what is the benefits of having this done or not having it done? Well, if you don't have it done, your van will end up going chalky and just looking horrible over a period of time, especially in the Australian sun, um, with no UV protection on it. This little bottle here is a UV protection, which means nothing will penetrate it. Salt water won't go through it, UV rays won't go through it and your van will still look great down the line. Okay, how long does the actual product last? With this product, it's a lifetime warranty. All right, so if for some reason something goes wrong, we have a problem, we just ring Vantech up or whatever and uh, they'll sort out wherever you are in Australia, I take it? Yep. All right, so it's Australian wide and um, obviously whoever will come around, have a look and either repair it, reapply or do whatever it is that they've got to do. What sort of problems have you seen or what, what have you had to refix or whatever and why? Well basically it's just people that have backed into trees and they've had to have panels replaced, hail damaged panels and stuff like that. When they've taken them to the workshop, had them replaced, then we go back in and retreat the area. Okay, that, that, that explains things now. So I was sort of thinking, well, wonder why it would deteriorate, but obviously, as you said, panels being replaced, people backing into things, hitting trees, scraping the sides and all that sort of stuff. Yep. All right, now how long does it take to coat? This is a 23 foot van. How long roughly does it take for you to um, apply your wares? Anywhere from three, uh, three to three and a half hours. Once it's applied, how long before you can wash the van or how long before you can go and travel or use the van? Once the van takes on the van, um, you don't wash it for seven days because you've got to let the product cure and go off, you let it go hard. And then after the seven days, you can wash it and then use it. Okay. Now that's the outside of van. Yes. Obviously you can also get the inside done. Yep. What in what on the inside do you do? We do mattresses, curtains, um, all your leather upholstery, fabric upholstery, everything that basically will that you sit on, touch, whatever. Um, it protects against spillages of your drinks and stuff like that. So if you've got small children in your van and they knock over a drink, it's not gonna soak in and stain, it's just gonna bead and run off. So Obviously, it's not the ceramic stuff you're putting on the mattress and stuff. You must have some other sort of a concoction. Yeah, we do. And again, that's just spray. I take it it's just sprayed over yeah. the uh, mattress because yeah. you obviously can't rub it in. Sprayed over, then wiped over with one of these. Yep. Then we let it dry off a little bit, and then we wipe it over with one of these. Now, the leather, obviously, that gets rubbed into the leather, the yes. whatever it is you're yes. using. You don't really see Vantech advertise on TV and stuff like that. It's no. obviously word of mouth, caravan shows, or dealerships. Is that the main... The main way that you guys get your clients? We've got a lady called Lynn. Her and her husband live in their van. They've got Vantech on their van and they go to caravan shows all around the country. I'll let you crack on with it and I'll uh, just go for a bit of a walk around and show people what you have and haven't done. Well, you've done the other side. Yeah, the side's not done. That's it, okay, so. Yeah, apart from the checker plate, the checker plate's not done because we didn't really do that last. All right, as you can see, it's looking pretty brand new. As Terry would just advise me, they haven't, he hasn't done the checker plating yet. Checker plating's the last thing that he'll do. So he's gone through. They also do the very top of your caravan. So I'll get him a ladder and he'll climb up to the top. And they also do the whole top. All right, now the camera may not be showing you what I'm looking at, but I'll tell you what, it's come up pretty shiny and it's a bit of a treat. Now, if it's gonna look after your van and protect your van, obviously it's gonna add value to your van. So for resale later down the track, it's a, um, well, you have to say it's a must. All right, some people might say, look, can't really afford it, but hey, you'll afford that little bit of extra money now. And I think 
through the show I think it was roughly two thousand three hundred and eighty dollars now that gives you lifetime warranty and when you do sell your van it actually trades over so the people that buy your van they then get the warranty that you've already paid for so what you can do is like I'm going to do when I sell this van you just include it in the price of selling the van and somebody that's buying a van once it's been van teched and they know that they're getting the warranty obviously it's going to be more appealing to them than a van that hasn't that's correct isn't it Terry? yeah mate Alright, so Most there you go. Because I've got the peace of mind that it's going to be protected. Okay, so the uh, checker plating has been done. You can see the sun's starting to shine off the whole vehicle. boxes have been done it's come up the treat back Okay, Terry's just finishing off the roof. Once he's done that, we'll go inside and have a look at what he does inside. Okay, so we're inside the van now, and uh, Terry's about to do the headboard. Do you want lights, mate? Check my knees, make sure they're not dirty. Do you want lights? Oh uh, yeah, if you want to. Oh, may as well. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes From falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. Crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Okay, so once the job's done, um, Vantec provide some uh, wash and conditioner and yep. some other shampoo. That's just and shampoo. Uh, Terry will explain which each of them are now. So what's this one do, mate? Now one's for when you go away and come back. This because uh, it's dirt and grime. Yep. So you pour 100 mils into a bucket of warm or cold water, mix thoroughly, wash your van with that. That's when you go away and come back because you have more dirt on your van when you come back. Yep. This one here is just for when it's sitting at home in the undercover or in the, under the carport. And it's starting to look a little bit dirty. Hit it with this one. No worries. This is just a normal shampoo. Yep. So this one here is for when you go away and come back. This one's for when you got it at home. And there are instructions in the shampoo pack on maintenance yep, guide maintenance on guide. how to maintain and look after your van once it's got the Vantec on it. So that is yours there. Awesome. Right, oh, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for that, Terry. Really appreciate it. Obviously, guys, if you're interested, we will put on the uh, 
his phone number and the email or the uh, Facebook page. You can jump on there and have a look and get your van protected. Thank yeah, you very much. Awesome. Thanks awesome. for the time. No worries, buddy. Have a lovely day. I will. You too. Hey, guys. Yep, it's that time again. You've all asked for it. Joke time with Dave. So, here's a question for you. What does a tick and the Eiffel Tower have in common? They're both parasites. <laughs> Catches. <laughs>